In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And on day one, he said, let there be light. And he saw that it was good. On day two, God said, let there be an expanse to separate the waters from the waters. And he called it heaven. On day three, he created dry land and called it earth. And he saw that it was good. He also created plants and fruit trees yielding seed after its own kind and saw that it was good. On day four, he created the sun, the moon, and the stars. And he saw that it was good. On the fifth day, he created fish and birds and God saw that it was good. And on day six, God created man in his own image. He called him Adam and it said it was not good for man to be alone. God took a rib from Adam and created woman. Then he saw that it was very good. With this ring, I promise to uphold the relationship that God has intended for us, to be strengthened by you and encourage you. I promise to live in the moment and cherish every second of it. I promise to always be there for you Every second of every day, I will love you, even if I don't like you at the moment. <laughs> I never thought I could admire someone's personality like I do yours. You're strong and brave. There was a point in my life that I have had given up on boys. But then when Kelly had to point you out at a football game, <laughs> um, and then a few months later we met up. I knew within the first couple of weeks that I would marry you. You have always been a light in my life and I fell so hard with your funny personality. The, long, the distance was hard, the deployments were hard, but somehow it made it all worth it and I will never give that up for anything. I vow to be truthful, faithful, and kind to you. I vow to give you my love, effort, and support in all that you do, because with no effort we have no support, and no support means we have no love for one another. And without love, we are not truly married or happy. I vow to call you when you send me to the store without a list, and I forget. <laughs> and I forget what you told me to do. I vow to hold you accountable in your line of work, life, and in the eyes of God as I know you would do the same for me. I vow to respect you and your boundaries as life without boundaries can be scary, like you without cell phones. I vow to work with you and never against you unless you decide to hog the blanket and kick me to the edge of the bed. <laughs> At that point, it's, it's game one. <laughs> I vow to pick you up when you feel down, be your somebody to lean on when it seems no one is around, be your wings when you want to fly, and be your Superman when you're lowest and in a pickle. But most importantly, I vow to be your husband and love you dearly till death do us part. In Mark 10:6. From the beginning of creation, God made male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cling to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Father, bless this marriage. May it be fruitful and multiply. The Bible says that a cord of three strands is not easily torn apart in Ecclesiastes 4.12. It's important to put Jesus first in all relationships. Loving Him with all your heart, soul, and mind, it will bring you closer together and teach you how to truly love each other. Imagine a triangle with God at the top and you guys on each corner. The closer you move towards God, the closer you move to each other. Father God, bless this marriage of Darby and Dominic. Surround their relationship with their home and ever-growing love. May they always be aware of your presence and your care in their lives. And now, Darby and Dominic, 
May the grace of Christ attend you, the love of God surround you, and the Holy Spirit keep you. Father, I ask, as you spoke heaven and earth into existence, you also speak to their hearts, bring a life to, the, to, the, to your words in their lives. I pray you bless this marriage and convict their hearts as in Ephesians 5 men and a Proverbs 31 woman. Now, is there anyone who rejects this union of Dominic and Darby? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> By the power invested in me in the state of Louisiana and witness before the eyes of God, I now pronounce you as husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I'll be the night. 